<laughs> Ain't no party like a what? Husky party and the husky party don't stop. That's right. So start clapping right now and make some noise for my man, Kevin Evans. see all these flags on all these trucks all of a sudden. And not just the American flag. I see like the blue line flag, the red line flag. Like, I didn't know there were so many flags. There's a flag for security guards. Why? $15. They get a flag. Right? It's kind of weird. Like, I support strippers. They don't have a flag with a silver pole. Right? I feel like we need to make one. I'll be the first to do it. I support strippers. Right. More ways than one. But <laughs> uh, speaking of strippers, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I have three daughters. <sighs> Fuck. What's that, that movie, uh, Hunger Games? The odds are forever with you, right? Shit. Three. And I, I got a good lesson at one of the strip clubs. I was watching uh, some gentleman sit there talk to one stripper, and he was telling her, uh, if you lay back and uh, jiggle your ankles, your, your, your thighs will clap. And I was like, that's sound advice. He's right. And then she came off the stage, and she was like, Dad, you were right. And I was like, what the fuck? Her dad? And this was my conflict. Either he's a horrible father or the greatest father. Right? I say he's the greatest. Supporter all the way. Right. Cardi B made it. <laughs> Man, she's doing well. She started that way. But I feel like that changes the definition of the daddy daughter dance, right? It's a little weird. Um, I think you guys should give me a round of applause. I got my mom off the plantation. Uh, my Kevin? <laughs> Sounds weird, I know. She lives with me now, but she lived in this community that was literally called the plantation. Oh. <laughs> she was the only other black lady there. <laughs> so I saved her. She didn't live on this way. Um, there's a lot of white people here. There's brothers in here. Have you guys ever dealt with uh, accidental racism? Yeah. Weird, Weird, right? <laughs> like I had one dude tell me, he was like, Kevin, you're black, but you're smart. And I was like, what the fuck? It's a fucking thing, and I don't know why. Wait, wait, my mom has a master. She got off the plantation, fella. <laughs> But like, I got a new job recently, and um, I met an older white gentleman, had the same last name as me. We came from the same state, born in the same place. And he had the nerve to pull me to the side, and he was like, Kevin, I don't know if you know, Virginia has a pretty bad uh, reputation in the, in the past. There's a possibility my family might have owned yours. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it was I'm showing up like every day. There's no way you can fire me. I got, I got into the tuck. <laughs> into the tuck, right? You can't fire me for that. But, uh, it makes me want to, like, get into this, what is it, the 23 in me and all that stuff? Because I have a whole lot of white friends. And they drug me out to a lot of stuff, like these Irish, Celtic shit. And I want to, like, find my heritage, and I'm hoping it's, like, some Zulu warrior shit. <laughs> 
because I'm dragging them to every event we can think of. It's not just Juneteenth. It's not just Juneteenth. We're going out, we're wearing loincloths. We're throwing spears at people. I know that sounds whatever. Fuck it. I'm dragging them all the way in. I did St. Patty's Day for 37 years. Yeah, I was drinking as a kid. <laughs> so fuck it. They're coming with me. Um, Brett, where's Brett? That's my sister-in-law, dog. It's all good. It's family. But as you see, they're white. They are white, white. And my wife, she started cooking a lot more with me. Oh gosh, is he gonna sell the chickens? But remember, she's white. So salt sometimes isn't a thing. Right? And I have a question. She's here so I can ask why she's here. Is it cheating if it's just food? It's okay, babe. Right? Is it? Like I just stop by someone's house and they're like, got you a plate. So over by the car, like, ooh, hell yeah. There's pepper and shit in here. Right? Even a dude can cook it. Fuck it. LGBTQ on my tea. I don't know, is it cheating? Right? Babe, totally not cheating. Totally not cheating. We need tacos. Tacos with more than just salt. I've actually stopped smoking a lot of weed. Mainly because I have stupid ass thoughts. Like one thing I was thinking, like aliens. White friends, again, aliens. And I was like, what the fuck is up with this? Is, this, is Earth, like Vegas? Is this what they do? They come down here and they're just like, hey, that place is wild. There's dudes that are chicks, it's, oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Like, I feel like Roswell was a DUI. Right? They're just locked up. Maybe I should stop smoking. Too soon? That's not too soon, is it? What's another thing I was thinking? Candyman. Do you, have you guys seen Candyman? Just you. I don't believe that shit. Y'all all scared. Get the fuck out of here. See, I have a problem with Candyman. And this is from the Wii. I feel like the powers that be get fucked us. They gave us the superhero, Hancock. We get drunk ass superheroes. And Candyman for the horror guy. Candyman is the laziest fucking horror really? fucking whatever he is. Really? The laziest. You have to call him five times. <laughs> Think about that. Five times. Bloody Mary was three. Mexicans work hard, we know. <laughs> but shit. Like, he, he got the first one, the Candyman. Like, hey, you hear something? Nah, he ain't hear nothing. Candyman. Hey, man, this weed's pretty good. <laughs> Five times, a lazy motherfucker. He should be fired. That's what they do to us anyway. But I can't be late because of my slave owner. Whatever. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk about some current shit. Um, gas. Yeah, I did it. Anybody mad about the gas? Uh, obviously. Hey, are you Stupid paying question. Gas? Stupid question. Maybe you pay gas? Not anymore. I have a pretty good job, but you know, I didn't know that. Now they do, and they're going to rob me. <laughs> this is still how it goes. <laughs> Oh, Grand Terrace? Hi, girl. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. Damn. Hello, Grand Terrace. But the whole thing about the whole uh, gas shit, it made me start thinking about OnlyFans. I was going to do a foot page. No, it's not. It's not. You know how weird motherfuckers are? They can find your IP address. You know how many unsolicited dick pics you're going to get as a man? Women. How many unsolicited dick pics do you all have? 
she's shaking her head like, enough. <laughs> enough. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I don't understand OnlyFans anyway. Like, that's like the, the G League of porn, right? It's developmental. The developmental. But they're using iPhones and shit. Right? That's not even the amateur. I see some amateurs who are like, damn, I got some money. <laughs> and like, is the allure that you might see them at the, the mall? Possibly. Right? You might get the fun, the fun, the fan day. Here's the raffle. Aww. Right? It's like, I'm not gonna see Clay Thompson and Steph Curry at the, at the fucking mall. Right? But I might see Lonzo. <laughs> Right. Oh, Jello, Jello. Right. Stealing shit. Every toy garden. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of traveling for work now, and I go to places with a lot of homeless people. It's really weird. Because I saw a homeless guy ask another homeless guy, hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? And I said, what the fuck you need Wi-Fi for? It's ridiculous, right? Like, are they... Communicating, they're like, I'll get the chips, you get some change, we'll get the parking meter, whatever. <laughs> get a couple waters, Make maybe a get a Thunderbird. <laughs> Who knows? Make a night of it. Who knows? <laughs> but I followed one of them, because I'm fucking weird. And I had to see why he needed Wi-Fi. <laughs> and it was mainly because they were playing The Sims. <laughs> they wanted to know what it felt like to have a home. Aww. Oh. You gotta say that until you see a homeless person in the street, like, get the fuck away from me. I'm 100% not wrong. 100%. Ah, fuck. I know I'm at a rap show and I love you guys. This is hip hop. It's hip hop. But I can't do the, the, the modern day rap no more. I feel like I gotta kill everybody. Like, everyone's an op. Oh, he's not. I'm gonna let your manager. <laughs> and I don't get it. These motherfuckers use emoticons, emojis, to talk shit to one another. That's not gangster. Hey, I don't like how you disrespected me. Frowny face. The fuck is that? The little squirt gun. <laughs> Probably sending eight plants to each other too, huh? Oh, me. Oh. I'm gonna talk to the white people right now. You guys aren't allowed to make bets anymore. Done. It's over. Because you guys make horrible bets. Like black people, Mexican people, we make bets with our lives. Freedom is what it is. I say this because I was in a room with some white people. And uh, the guy said, hey, I'm gonna bet you $600 that you can't shit on my face. What? Yeah. Did you hear it right? Yeah. The bet was that the other guy can't shit on his face. And I said, what? What the fuck's going on right now? I should have left. I didn't, because I wanted to know what was going to happen. And uh, in the conversation, they told me that if you blow on an asshole, it puckers. Right? Do you guys know that? Were you shaking your head? Did you know that? Did you know that? Or is this a sidebar? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Anywho. How did he know that? Right? That's not a first time thing. He bet $600. That's a confident ass bet. That means, no, this has happened. And he's had shit on his face. And paid somebody $600. So white people, you're done. It's over. Just run the world and be happy with that. Fuck. <laughs> it's never enough. It's never enough. Huh? It's never enough. Yeah, you know. 
I hang out with a lot of whites, it's probably obvious. Not the Tupac shirt, that doesn't show anything, but a lot of whites. I've done my, done a lot of drugs. <laughs> Fucking a lot of drugs. Hallucinogens. And let me tell you something. Like I said, I have three daughters. At some point, I pray that they try to get over on me. There's no way they're getting by. Come in the house like, Dad, I would just go to bed. Hey, did I like do this? All right, don't tell me nothing. Go to your room. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call them on a blocked ID and just be like, seven days. Just fucking with them. If they don't tell me anything, I'm no shit dressing up like a pirate. Kicking their doors in. Ahoy, baby. Bend down the hatches, we gotta get the booty from the Black Pearl. It's probably not the best parenting skill I got, but that's all I got. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying to think of what I should get out of here with, because I feel like it's my time to get out of here. We had a good time. Am I allowed to do this? This is my stage, right? Yeah. That would have been my lights. Keep my pants on, that's not fun. I'm gonna leave with a couple little weird, fun shit while I was on my time sitting there doing nothing. You know what I saw? I saw an Amish dude get pulled over by fucking police for a DUI. That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. I was like, how did that work? Because they said he ran. Right? The cop had to walk up and he just went, yeah! <laughs> Get the horses and buggies out of here. And last question. I'll ask a question. I'll ask a question. No, I don't want to ask a question. I'm going to tell a disgusting story. So happy I'm out of the game. My beautiful wife is here. Sorry, babe, for this story. But there was this time I was with this girl. And I said, I'm going to go down. Wasn't the wisest choice. I'll just say I don't eat Arby's anymore. <laughs> Mainly because she had the cheddar milk classic. Oh my god. I like that. That's a good way to leave. All right, guys. I've been Kevin Wendell. Enjoy the rest of your night. Here's your host, Brett. <laughs> Keep it going for Kevin Wendell, everybody. Come on, make some fucking noise. Come on. That's a bad vision. Oh, yeah.